Welcome to episode 8 of making one bill starting as a level 3. So we had a little bit of a tough time in episode 7. If you guys haven't seen it, go and check it out. Playlist at the top of the description. Catch up, boys. But for those of you that are all caught up, you'll be aware we barely clutched it to being in members. We were a few hours away from being the 6-hour logged straight into free-to-play and having to telegrab one to Zamorok all over again. It was not a good time. And fortunately, we got lucky enough to land ourselves a rare unique on Zora's drop table. We got ourselves an uncut onyx, which was beautiful. It saved us from the free-to-play grind. That was something that I do not want to experience again. So for that reason, today we are going to be focusing mainly on building the bank back up to a bigger and higher peak than it's ever been before. I'm going to be focusing three main money makers during this video. We're going to be doing Zora, the Barrows, and of course the Revenant Caves. We're starting out today's episode with a bank value of just under 4 mil, barely enough to afford a bonds, so it's time to make some really good money. With that being said guys, the house tour is going to be filmed this weekend, which will be at the start of episode 9. I ain't giving no spoilers, but trust me, it's going to be fucking great. With that being said guys, I do hope you enjoyed today's video. Let's see if we can hit a like goal of 3,000 likes on this video. Let me know that you're excited for the house tour. Subscribe, if you are new to the channel, and I hope you enjoy. Oh my god. Well, at least we broke the dry streak, I suppose. How much is this thing worth? 124k. It's an item. We could have maybe not got it. I'll take it. I can't complain. Just die, bro. Good stuff. Give me an item now. Oh, oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Holy shit, man. Imagine being that bad. Oh my goodness. All right, let's get the chest first. Anything good? Nip. We were not rewarded. We were just punished. Rip. Hey, 76 magic. That is purely through doing Zora and Barrows. Nice. Oh, come on, Barrows. That's some good chaos runes, though. It's actually gone up. I bought it for 900k. I've made 75k on that bad boy. Payday, boys. I'm gonna get a bunch of hate comments now telling me that I'm a sneaky mercher and I'm just gonna make a bill through merching. I'll have to resell it for 900k and any money I make on it, I'll have to drop the GP. <laughs> I'm only fucking trolling. No way. We are not getting kill potential for this, but we are getting a drop. What did I just say? There we go. First off of the day, I love the look of the Guffin's body. 600k? Since when? Holy. That's so good. The last time I checked, this was like 200, 300k. That's insane. I think we are going to go ahead now, do a little bit of a bank sell. Edgeville, World 350, and we're going to sell everything. Get ourselves a blowpipe if we can afford it, which I believe we can at this point. We may be a little bit shy. We're going to sell everything and just see how much we're sitting on right now. Aside from the Zora Scales, that is strictly Barrow's reward that we've got. So how much is the cash stack from that? Cheeky 2.6 mil. Not too bad. Cutting this very close, whether we're going to be able to afford this or not. The occult necklace is going to go in. 972k. 4 mil. 32k. Can we get a toxic blowpipe of this? No. Okay. We're going to be so broke after this. Oh my goodness. All right, please buy for that price. Yes. We have needed this item for a really long time. 68k cash. Pretty much the entire bank gone at this point. But we're going to have to just like shuffle a few things around and see what we can do. So this is going to be the first kill with the toxic blowpipe at Zora. I don't know if this is going to be much easier or if it's going to be about the same. But I'm really hoping selling the Akul for the blowpipe is going to be a worthy trade-off. So let's find out if this is actually good or not. Three minutes and 34 seconds. So it wasn't, wasn't a huge improvement. In fact, it wasn't. But it was acceptable. Just finished up with a nice bit of Zora. As you guys can see, the toxic blowpipe went from literally zero scales, 2,500. I am going to change things up. I'm going to quickly go and sell all of the loot we got from Zora. We did get 80 KC, so roughly 10 kills in total. And we're going to move over to the Revenants and test out the blowpipe with 76 range. First inventory, 270k. I'd say that was less than 10 minutes. I am going to be sticking at this for a little while and reaping the rewards. Yeah, die in peace, McLovin, the very loving guy. What on earth did I just loot? I just looted like an entire PK. How much is this? Huh. Okay, that's a little bit underwhelming. Not gonna lie. Uh, 137k plus 55k. Okay, almost 200. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah,
This is probably about an hour worth of Revenants, pretty much. I feel like that's quite good, considering how busy the Revenants is right now. This is a very big upgrade for us. We can now afford ourselves the Occult Necklace and the Toxic Blowpipe. Zora? Easy. All right, let's see how much better this is going to be. All right, that should be it, boys. Battle Staffs? Okay, that's not too terrible. The Flax isn't the best drop in the world, but hey-ho. Battle Staffs are very nice. Can you hear the bells that are ringing outside? There's a church which is like super close to my house. Every Wednesday, they ring those bells for hours. Bunch of Quasimodos over the road fucking ringing the bells trying to annoy me. We actually got a kill with no recoils. That's insane. <sighs> Magic Fang, yes! Oh, that's so good, dude. It was worth it. The bells are ringing outside. We ran out of recoils. We ran out of anti-venoms. But we got the fucking magic fang. Give me. That's so good. Cheeky 3.5 mil, boys. Look at that. Two uniques from Zora and 84 KC. I'm so happy. Please sell for that. Oof. Beautiful. And let's have a look. How much is a toxic trident? Please be under 3.8. Oh, that's so nice. Say farewell to the regular trident. 74k. It did us very well. 3 mil, 676k. Boom. We are looking more the part every day. It just looks so much stronger and beefier than what the actual trident does. And you can see the trident in the middle here and then the fang coming out the side. We now have the trident of the swamp, the occult necklace, the toxic blood low pipe. Everything is coming together slowly but surely. 16 more to go just so we can round it up to a nice number. Personal best. 100%. 2 minutes and 22 seconds. New personal best boys and that's not a bad drop either. 80k for the snaps. The bank is officially over 10 mil. We have acquired a green cash stack for the very first time on this account. I think we got to like 9.5 mil before and we're only getting started. I am very happy to see that. We're going to take a quick break from Zora, and I'm going to go get myself a prayer level so we can unlock Mystic Mites. Get down to business. Fucking Mulan, man. There it is, boys. Mystic Might has been achieved. Oh my god, I thought that was another Magic Fang. Oh my goodness. All right, that's still a very good drop, actually. Let's have a look. 250k. A very good Zora kill. That is incredibly good. Look at this. 100 Zara kills. Personal best, almost under two minutes. Good stuff, boys, good stuff. It is that time we are looking to upgrade our major in a one capes to the imbued one. I'm gonna go and quickly get all of these staffs charged so I can use them outside of the arena. If you guys are wondering why I'm wielding this gear, with this gear, I'm gonna splash every single hit. As long as you are at minus 65 or above in magic, you will splash every single hit. So I should just be able to use one battle mage for the whole duration of all three of the staffs. Also, you guys might have seen a few videos of people getting skull tricks. Now, I'm not stupid enough. Touch wood. If you do plan to do it like this, it's almost impossible to get skull tricks unless the very first mage you attack is Torvesta, in which case, GG. Sarah Dome and done. Graphics yeah, done. Finally, Zamorok done. We're trying something which is potentially very stupid. We're actually gonna try to do all of these at the same time. I don't know if it's gonna work out. It will if we get very lucky. We're risking a considerable amount, 500K. Very nice, I'm gonna tell you up to the Anakrar and hopefully not get one shot. We're good. There we go, just to car our hands, very nice. As grouped out with, give me the Ents root, very nice. And there he is. That's all three of them done. 600 blood runes was a little bit over the top, not gonna lie, but we have all three parts for the trek back to the magical bank to trade these in and imbued our cape. I'm gonna go with the Guffix cape imbued just because it looks incredibly good. Take a look at this thing here. Oh, you guys are wondering what the difference is between having the regular mage cape. As you can see, we got plus. 10 magic. All three of the imbued capes give the exact same stats, but the main difference is we get an extra five magic accuracy and 2% magic damage combined with the occult lifting us up to 12%. The best in slot for mage and wow, this thing is very nice. So naturally, once we got the imbued cape, we headed back to Zora. We did get ourselves a new personal best of two minutes and one second. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to get any uniques so we moved over to the Revenant. Hello, Mr. Dragon Plate Skirt. That uh, is a very nice drop, 162K, so we made 300K already. Damn, this is why the blowpipe is so overpowered at this place. Don't even have a Salve EI. We collecting 
some fat check. Okay, let's have a look. How much did we just make? 250k plus the 150k for the Dragon Plate Script. 400k profit in probably what took less than 10 minutes. Let's get ourselves a price check on the bank right now. All of these scales I've managed to get from Zora. I haven't purchased any of these. So if I throw all of this inside of the bank we should get an accurate price check at the top 13 mil 100k we have turned this train around we were on a huge decline in the last episode we barely managed to stay in members we're looking very healthy right now here are the stats 77 range 76 magic 46 prey we now have mystic might 72 hp the bank is looking very stable right now we have ourselves the imbued guffix cape absolutely beautiful and we've managed to pick up a few very nice items along the way the toxic blowpipe and the toxic trident both very powerful and useful in many scenarios the toxic blowpipe hands down the best thing i can possibly have i have just finished up doing some revenants so before the video ends let's get a little price check on everything we just managed to get to do the revenants and not get constantly bombarded by people and pk anywhere from 12 gmt onwards for me seems to be the time when the revenants is relatively quiet and i seem to be able to make a lot more money so how much did we just make just shy of 1.6 mil just over an hour's work which is really good and there you go guys that will conclude episode 8 with a solid bank value of 13 mil seven days 16 hours invested into this account we have built ourselves the foundations i cannot stress enough in this series it is going to be a constant juggling act between unlocking certain items whether it be barrow gloves or acquiring certain levels and slowly but surely building the bank at the same time with the appending doom of bonds day <laughs> which i don't look forward to i do hope you enjoyed today's video as always if you did Make sure you leave it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and I will see you very soon. I love you sexy bitches.